The canonization process has been ongoing for Sister Lucia, the oldest and longest living of the three children who witnessed the Marian apparitions of Fatima in 1917. Father Marco Chiesa, the postulator for Sister Lucia's cause for canonization, says the process is currently at the examination of the Positio, the volume that collects all documentation and testimonies to prove the virtues of the potential saint. This process has highlighted the many challenges that the late Carmelite nun faced. On May 13, 1917, she said yes to Mary who appears to her, so she makes herself completely available to the Mother of God. Her whole life is a renewal of this yes, in the face of every difficulty, as there are so many people who try to discredit her or the message of Fatima, so many difficulties she has to face out of obedience. Father Chiesa says the canonization process has been complex due to collecting factual documents on Sister Lucia's 97 years of life and navigating her close relationships with the Vatican and Pope John Paul II during the reveal of the third secret of Fatima. When it came to the disclosure of the famous third secret or the third part of the secret of Fatima, lo and behold, the Pope wrote a message accompanying and interpreting this message before publication because he wanted to know Lucia's opinion. I think it is correct to say there was a mutual trust, let's say a dialogue of trust. Although Sister Lucia was often in the public eye, humility and simplicity are known to have been some of her most admirable qualities. Una persona come Lucia a person like Lucia was always in the spotlight. Even though she was in the monastery, waves of letters were coming in of requests for her. Someone so important all over the world, known all over the world, maintains that humility, that simplicity of recognizing that Christ is important. Father Chiesa believes Sister Lucia will be canonized a saint as her message of perseverance continues to spread throughout the church and the world.